Assalamualaikum and a very good day to our lecturers. We are from group 4, section 2 of mechan fluid mechanic lab. So today we will present experiment 5 which is we cover pattern with turbine experiment. So first let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Akram bin Jamal Akbar and my matrix number is MA190099. So here uh, the address of my group mates which is Zuhimi, Ajwad, Kovinat and the last one is Cik Siti Norasha. We go to the abstract. In this experiment, we are investigating the relationship between speed of pattern wheel and the output power under constant flow rate and pressure. By analyzing this characteristic, turbine characteristic and performance can be determined. The results show that the experimental and theoretical patterns for this characteristic are very similar. The generated graph was formed differently with RPM of turbine. At rotational speed of RPM 600 and 620, the efficiency turbine is 47.27% which is the highest efficiency recorded. I think that's all for me. I will pass the presentation to the next presenter. Hello everyone, I am Kainal son of Aplus Agni. My battery number is MA190555 and today I am going to uh, present the introduction regarding the Pelton wheel experiment. And first of all, this is the uh, diagram for uh, uh, of a Pelton wheel turbine. So let us look at the background of the Pelton wheel. The Pelton turbine is an impulse uh, turbine used for higher heat and lower volume rate. Uh, a Pelton wheel is uh, easy, simple to manufacture and are relatively cheap and have good efficiency and reliability. Pelton turbine is used for mechanical power generation in hydroelectric power plant. Water is taken to the turbine from the reservoir through penstocks. A, a penstock is a large uh, pipe fitted with a nozzle at the end. The fluid is then sent through a nozzle so that most of it, uh, most of its available mechanical energy is converted into kinetic energy. The whole of hydraulic energy is converted into kinetic energy at the nozzle. The pressure all over the wheel is constant and equal to atmosphere so that energy transfer occurs due to purely impulse action. A Pelton turbine has one or more nozzles discharging jets of water which strike a series of buckets mounted on the periphery of a circular disc. The buckets have a shape of a double semi-ellipsoidal cup and each bucket is divided into two symmetrical parts by a sharp edge ridge uh, known as a splitter. The high-speed jet then impinges on bucket-shaped wings that transfer energy to the turbine shaft. The input power, output power and efficiency of the turbine can be calculated using the following equations. And this is uh, the definition the, for the parameters. Uh, rho is density, G is the gravity, Q is volume flow rate, H is the heat, N uh, uh, is rotational speed and T is torque. So now let's look at the problem statement. As most of the countries agree to reduce the emission of carbon to the atmosphere and reduce all kind of pollutions to counter the global warming, everyone is in search of renewable resources, uh, especially to produce electrical energy. Even though using, the, uh, using turbine to produce electricity is a long established method, not many countries are doing this um, in a large scale, un uh, unlike China. The main reason for this is turbine will cost a lot of money and choosing the right turbine also matters. To counter this issue, this experiment was conducted to determine the efficiency of one of the type of turbine, which is the impulse turbine, where we have used Pelton wheel for this. 
we are aware that this experiment is not in a large scale to determine the best turbine, but it is our least effort towards the nature. As we know, Pelton wheel is way cheaper than other turbines, and the fluid flow in Pelton wheel is regulated without any loss. With all uh, in this information regarding Pelton wheel, we are to determine the efficiency of the Pelton wheel by conducting this experiment and using formulas which have been created. So these are the objectives for this experiment. The first of all is to design and evaluate complete measurement technique and experimental procedure for fluid flow. And next is to determine the performance and efficiency of Pelton turbine at different operating conditions. And here we can look at the scopes of this experiment. First of all is the determination of the performance and efficiency of Pelton turbine. Second is scrutinize the, uh, the difference between the fully open and power curve. And finally, study the characteristics of the turbine from the curves. And that's all from me. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Angela. 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 I'm the device becomes the means of providing the electricity on producing electricity. The device are classified as input and reaction type, where the process available is converted to electricity and focused in one or more users. The gas output from the user side range is to the periphery of a certain range, and because of the lack of change of angular momentum, suddenly, and motion, what is done on the runner by the field and that completely is transferred. So, Example for the input and reaction type is certain wind. Uh, certain wind is an example of an input turbine that is used for comparatively high and low distribution. So you get turbine is built for small specific speed where the input circuit has to convert to high distribution. You get increase on the double cut bucket, monitor around the runner, this that makes the runner to rotate. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Cik Siti Raisha binti Cik Sofiai. My ID number is MA1903. Today I want to present about a method and procedure. In this chapter, we will list out all the apparatus needed and the procedure of this experiment. For the apparatus, we have two apparatus for this experiment which is a Pelton turbine and hydraulic uh, bench uh, this is a Pelton turbine uh, you can see this figure so uh, the the number one on that uh, Pelton turbine uh, is a spring balance the number two is a manometer number three is nozzle adjustment and number four is nozzle number five is a Pelton wheel and number six is a uh, brake adjustment. This is the name of the uh, that parts on the Pelton turbine. Uh, this is the hydraulic bench. Uh, it's uh, already a label. And the number one is a flow control valve. Number two is overflow. Overflow and number three is storage tank uh, with pump. The number four is valve. Uh, number five uh, is measuring tank valve. Number six is measuring tank. For the procedure, the first uh, step is uh, the connection is secure and no leak is tightly connected. The number number two is release the emergency button, and then water added to the full tank of the experiment hydraulic bench for the water supplies. Number four is the hydraulic bench is activated and the valve is oriented vertically. Number five is the, the spear controller. Control or fix the flow rate and the flow speed. And then uh, shift the measurement level on the main switch and the tongue level is measured measure after uh, 60 seconds. And then monitor and record um, collected data on the flow sensor, pressure sensor, 
and technometer. And lastly is the valve is turned horizontal and after experimentation the main switch is switched off. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi. My name is Ahmad Zahimi bin Muhammad Zaki and my metric number is MA1104. So I will continue for the chapter 4 which is uh, result and discussion. Okay, here we can see the list of the formula. Uh, first, the formula of the efficiency equal to power output per power in. And then the power output equal to P uh, Q. Where P is the pressure and Q is the flow rate. Then the power output equal to T omega. Uh, where T is the torque and omega is the radial speed. So we go to the experiment data. Here we can see the data of part 1 which is to being characteristic curve and the data of part 2 which is the power curve. So from uh, the data here we, we make it into the graph. Then for the graph we go to the part 1 first which is the being characteristic curve. Okay so for the first graph we can see the top against uh, rotational speed so from the graph as the rotational speed increase the top decrease then the second graph is the power output against rotational speed uh, from the graph F the, uh, as the rotational speed increase uh, the power output decrease for the third graph uh, is the efficiency against rotational speed uh, from uh, the graph as the uh, rotational speed uh, increase, the FSC decrease. Then we go to the graph for part 2 which is the power curve. Okay, from the graph, uh, we can conclude that the power output of the pattern wheel for the flow rate 31.5 liter per minute is the higher compared to the flow rate at 30.9 liter per minute at the rotational speed lower than 500 rpm but when the rotational speed increase or higher than 500 rpm the power out, uh, output for the flow rate 30.9 liter per minute is the highest compared to the flow rate 31.5 liter per minute then we move to the discussion okay, from the turbine characteristic curve we can see several important aspects of the pattern wheel. We will expect that as the rotational speed of the pattern wheel increase, the efficiency should also increase. This is due to the increase in wheel speed which is uh, which will increase the power output up to the maximum efficiency before the efficiency, uh, efficiency decrease. However, from the data, the efficiency continuously decreases as the rotational speed increase, thus we know that the data collected has surpassed uh, the rotational speed for the maximum efficiency. The drop in efficiency is caused by the lower volume of water that can hit the buckets as the absolute velocity of the bucket is higher than the absolute velocity of the water. Next, in the power curve, a higher volumetric uh, flow rate is used which is 31.5 liter per minute instead of 30.9 liter per minute. The power output increase as the rotational speed of the bucket increase up to uh, 90 20 rpm. The power output then decrease as the rotational speed continues to increase. The power output around 90, 900 rpm then comes out as zero. This is due to the speed of the bucket surpassing the speed of the water jet. The zero power, the zero power uh, is caused by the water jet being unable to hit the turbine's bucket as it is now traveling faster than the water jet. That's all from me, thank you. So for the conclusion, uh, the experiments result correspond to the predicted conclusion. At a, a lesser scale, the lab setup simulates uh, the operation of a full-size pattern wheel turbine. We can observe how the rotating speed of the pattern wheel turbine influences power production and efficiency at the same volume 3 flow rate of water. 
this experiment has assisted the members of the group to have a better understanding of pattern with turbine. I think that's all from our groups. Uh, thank you.